Book 1, Proposition 5 of Euclid's Elements essentially focuses on the properties of isosceles triangles. So in isosceles triangles, the angles at the base are equal to one another. And if the equal straight lines be produced further, the angles under the base will be equal to one another. So what we can do is start with a triangle, triangle ABC, and this is isosceles, so that means two of the sides are equal to each other. Or in this case, the line AB and the line AC are equal to each other. Now, the first step of this proof is to extend these lines AB and AC as far as we'd like. And remember that we can do this due to postulate number two, which says that we can extend a line as far as we wish. So let's label these points down here. We'll call this D, and we'll call this one E. So with this postulate two, we have that AD and AE are drawn. And the goal of this proof is to show that this angle ABC here is equal to this angle ACB. But also another goal is to show that this angle DBC here is equal to the angle ECB. And the first step of this proof is to pick a point at random on the line AD, and let's call this point F. And using book one postulate number three, we can duplicate this line on the line AE. Or in other words, we can find this point G here, such that AF is equal to AG. Remember that the essence of book one postulate three is that if we have two lines of unequal length, that we can take out a portion of the bigger line equal to the smaller line. And now using postulate number one, which says that we can connect a straight line between any two points, we can draw FC and BG. So FC and BG are created. And since we know that AB and AC are equal, and AF and AG are equal, that must mean that BF and CG are equal. So BF equals CG, and this is due to common notion number three, which says that if equals be subtracted from equals, the remainders are equal. So we're essentially subtracting off lines AB and AC from the bigger lines AF and AG, and what we're left with is two equal parts, BF and CG. Now the main step in this proof is to use book one postulate four, which is essentially the side angle side theorem. So if we have two triangles with two equal sides and the angles between those sides are equal, then we know that the two triangles are exactly equal to each other. So let's focus on triangle ABG and triangle ACF. And what we can see is that in the first triangle, we have this line AB and this line AG and the angle between them. Though if you notice on this second triangle, we have the line AF, which is equal to AG, and we have the line AC, which is equal to AB, and we know that the angle between them is the same because it's the same angle. So using this book one postulate four, we can prove that triangle ABG is equal to triangle ACF. And once we've established that these two triangles are equal, we can now conclude all sorts of things. For one, we know that since the triangles are equal, then all the angles within the triangles are equal as well. So this angle AFC is equal to this angle AGB. Or in other words, this angle here and this angle here are equal to each other. And we also know that the angle ABG and ACF are equal. So this angle here and this angle here are equal to each other. And we know that since the triangles are equal, then all their sides are equal. Or in other words, their bases are equal. This line BG 
and this line FC are equal to each other. And if we again use this, book one, postulate four, we can show that the triangles BFC and CGB are equal. And we know this because we have this line BF equal to this line CG, and the line FC is equal to the line BG, and the angles between those two lines are equal. So using this book one postulate four, we now know that triangle BF C is equal to triangle CGB. And right away from this, since these two triangles are equal, we know that their angles are equal. So this angle here, FBC, is equal to CGB. So angle FBC equals angle GCB. So now that we've proven that these two angles are equal to each other. We can now focus on proving that angle ABC and angle ACB are equal to each other. And to do that, all we have to recognize is that this angle here, CBG, is equal to the angle BCF here. And we already know that this big angle here and this big angle here are equal to each other. So if we just use common notion number three and subtract off these two small equal angles, then we'd be left with the fact that ABC and ACB are equal to each other. So we can write that, that angle ABC equals angle ACB and due to common notion number three. And since the goal of this proof was to show that these pairs of angles are equal, we are now finished and can write QED.